All right, I'm going to show you how you can shoot video on three different video sources, three different angles of the same thing happening, and then synchronize it. So I've got iPad up here on a tripod, phone here on a tripod, and then just this uh, older iPad sitting here. I'm going to put them all on video mode. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to push record on all of them before I set up the cameras and clap my hands really loud to make a sound spike. It'll make it easier to synchronize the video. Final Cut Pro is going to do most of the work automatically for me, but uh, I want to make it as easy as possible. So here we go. Hit record on the old iPad. Hit record on my phone. Hit record up here on the iPad on the tripod. All right, now I'm going to place them all where I want them to go. All right, I forgot to um, make a big clap. Anyway, uh, it'll probably synchronize anyway. So now uh, I act as best I can. Here we go. All right, so I'm done. I'm gonna hit uh, stop on all the iPads. Let's bring them all together first. And we can actually do the sound spike at the end. I forgot to do that at the start. Big clap. That'll help synchronize things. All right, stop, stop, and stop. Okay, so here I am over on my computer. I've created a new event in Final Cut Pro. We're gonna import the videos and then synchronize them. So I have all three videos here in my downloads folder. I'm just gonna select all three of them and drag all three at the same time over here into the event that I've created. Now I'm gonna go and click all three videos. One, two, and three. I'm gonna click them. Uh, as I click them, I'm holding the command button so that I can select all three. You can see all three are selected because there is a yellow outline. Now, uh, one of the iPads I used to record actually had its date set wrong, so we'll find out if that causes a problem. Hopefully not, but I'm gonna right click and say uh, synchronize, or sorry, new multicam clip. Let's see what happens here. And it's gonna create it in this event. It's gonna be called untitled multicam clip. And, um, Angle assembly is automatic, clip ordering automatic, synchronizing automatic. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it works. I'll say OK. And now I have this new multicam clip. I'm going to drag this down into my timeline. And you'll see when I play it, it just shows one camera angle so far. This looks like it's the one I shot from my iPad. To see the different angles, I can go up here to where it says View and choose angles. And then I can actually see all three angles. So what you do from here is up to you. You can see, uh, let's maybe scrub along the timeline to around where I want to start. And I'm going to use my blade tool to throw away everything at the start. And I'll click and push delete on my keyboard. All right, let's start with the camera angle that's looking down the stairwell. And so all I do is I go into my multicam clip and I'm choosing I want to select the audio and the video. If you just wanted to leave the audio source in one spot and, um, and change the video, you could do that also. In this example, it doesn't matter a whole lot. So I'm just gonna leave it selected on both video and audio switching. And then I'm gonna watch my video I can see myself running up the stairs there and I want to at this point maybe let me scrub back just touch we're gonna cut over to another angle where we sort of see a close-up of my legs and feet so we'll cut to that angle and now we'll cut again back to the first angle where we can see me running past and now we'll cut to the angle that is wider and down the hallway as I come around the corner and run past the iPad. And now I'll come back down here, use my blade tool to cut off the end and throw it away. So let's watch the completed clip.
stellar acting. All right. Acting aside, that's one way you can do it. In addition to just cutting from one video to the other, you can also do some creative things with the video as well. You don't have to just cut from one to the other. I'm going to show you another example. This is from a recent TV show, The Flight Attendant. I really like how they show her sort of racing to get away from the police in the airport and they cut from one cam camera angle to the other with these interesting fades in between as she tries to escape. You can see her looking nervous. I thought this was really creative and a lot of fun. So we're going to try and do something similar now with the three shots that I made. Okay, so there might be different ways of doing this and I'm going to just show you how I've thought of doing it using my own crazy brain. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that multicam clip we created before and again I'm going to scrub along the, actually first I'll set it to um, this view, this angle, as that's the first one where I can tell where I'm actually starting the shoot. So I'll scrub along my timeline until I can see that I've, I want to start the shot and I'll use my blade tool to cut, use my selection tool to throw away the stuff at the start. I'm going to scrub along the timeline to sort of see the last shot. I'm looking at my angles up here to kind of see where that shot ends. I run past the camera, so I'll cut it here. We can always um, be more precise later on, so I'll cut it here. Selection tool, throw this away. Okay, so I got this chunk of video here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy it with Command C and I'm going to paste it and stack it on top and paste it again and stack it on top and paste it again and stack it on top. So I've got four videos all stacked on top of this. Now, I don't actually need the bottom video for anything but reference and so I'm actually going to turn its opacity down um, to zero so that it's completely there's completely no video there. Um, and there's probably a more efficient, smarter way to do this. I just can't think of one. Okay, so you can see I've got one, two, three, four of these multi-cam clips all stacked onto each other. I click the very bottom one and I turn the opacity down to zero so that it's completely black. I'm gonna do a couple of things here in a second. Uh, I'm gonna do that to all of the clips but the top clip for just a second so that I can crop the top one. So I don't want to see any more of the clip than the part that has me in it. So I'm just going to jog along to the start where I can start to see my head bobbing up the stairs here. And then over here in the video inspector area, I'm going to scroll down and crop in the left and right. Let's see. So here's my left. Oops, I'm doing the wrong one. It's really important that you click the clip you mean to do the adjustment on before you do it. So there's a mistake to avoid. So here we go, I can see my head there. I've clicked the correct clip. And now I'm gonna pull in the left. Actually, I'm gonna pull in the right, excuse me. I'll pull in the right. Then I'll pull in, I'll jog along in the clip. Let's see, where do I wanna cut out? So I never seem to go any further to the left than that. So then I'll chop the left to about here. Now I'm going to push it all the way over to the right hand side of the screen. So that means changing its X position. So I'm going to just, I like to just click in this box and, and drag over. And then finally, I'm going to scale it down just a touch. So maybe 90%. Okay. We sort of cropped over that shot to the far left. What I'm going to do is have my feet run by here on the left uh, at the same time. So what I'm going to do with my second shot here is I'm going to jog back to the start and select the shot of the stairs. And, oops, I changed the wrong clip. Let me just click on this clip. So we want this clip to change to this shot. Oh, interesting, it's changing the other one. That's annoying. That's okay. I'll just drag it above. Maybe it has to be the one above. So let's click and click. Let's turn our opacity back up. 
let's click this clip and then use the selection tool to drag it back down. I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong here, but that's okay. So now what we want to do is we want to see the shot of my feet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe decide we want to see it at this point. So I'll use my blade tool. I'm going to throw away this part of the video with my selection tool. And then I'm going to decide how much of this clip I want to keep. Maybe just to here. Use my blade tool again. Selection tool and throw away this part. Now what I'm going to do with what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to scale it first so that it's the same height as this. So I'll just use a click on the correct clip first, use my scale all and I'll just eyeball it so that it's about the same height more or less. And then looks like it's 90% and then I'm going to pull in um, my right and my left just so I get a sort of border between the two pieces of video. So let's go to left. Actually we're going to pull in the right. My apologies. There we go. Just like that. So now they look like two distinct different pieces of video. There's me running. There are the feet back around and now this third clip down here we want it to be the video of me coming around the corner so again I'll click there go back to my clip viewer and this is the clip we want that one to be so I'll click there oops same thing's happening so I guess I got to move this one to the top no problem I can do that then I choose the video source so let me click Choose this one. There we go. And I'll drag it back down. Let's set its opacity back to 100%. Okay, it is. Good. And then we will decide where do we want to make that cut. Sort of, we first see me come around the corner there, but maybe what we'll do. So I'll use my blade tool is we'll have it start just a bit before it appears. So I'll click, delete this. It might sandwich things down a bit. Let's find out. Delete. Yeah. Okay. Sandwich down. And again, we're going to shrink the size of this one to 90%. 90. So that it matches the other one. And then we're going to kind of crop out the right and left again. So let's crop out the right hand side so we get that nice little black border and I think we we're gonna leave the left side there we go and let's make that top clip disappear after I round the corner so I round the corner and then maybe let's make it disappear by here so I'll use my blade tool again and cut selection tool and throw that away. Okay, now to bring everything together, we're going to use some pretty long cross dissolves on all of our clips, and it should look a lot like the flight attendant. So I'll drop that here so we can see we have it looks like a half second cross fade here. We can make that bigger just by dragging it. Maybe I'll drag it to, to a second and a half. Now I'll click this side, drag this one to a second and a half. So that they're long fades. I'll drop one either or on this cam shot as well. But I'm going to make those ones shorter because it's a shorter clip. And then we'll watch it back and see if it looks cool. If it doesn't, we'll just make adjustments. So let's drop it on the last clip here as well. All right, let's watch it back. What does this look like? Does it look anything like that cool clip from the flight attendant? I'm not sure. Well, I certainly don't have the acting chops. The flight attendant does, but it kind of turned out pretty cool. Oh, 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 oh,